Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Today we're going to talk about Sushi and it's looked like it's headed for infamy. Um, the original oh, the original leader or chef looks like it's he's almost or she's almost abandoned the project so we don't really know if it's a he or she. Looks like they abandoned the, abandoned the project uh, but someone else has kind of taken it over and it is not switching to Sushi Swap, at least not yet. Sushi obviously is a, another one of these meme DeFi coins. Um, that's actually gotten all like hyped up during this ridiculous DeFi craze and basically um, It dropped quite a bit. I think it was at 286 the last time I checked But it did drop from four dollars something but more than that the owner kind of like sold out So sushi swap investors were handed a raw deal get it raw deal sushi over the weekend after the pseudonymous founder of the 1.27 billion dollar fit 1.5 week old, week old DeFi protocol cashed out so they didn't lose $1.27 billion or anything, but the owner of the uh, the owner of the protocol actually sold all his or her tokens. And you know when the owner sells all his or her tokens, it's time to get the hell out of town for the most part. A fork of DeFi darling Uniswap, SushiSwap. Now remember, they tried to they wanted to move every all the liquidity from Uniswap to SushiSwap, but that is not happening, at least not yet. Is the brainchild of a pseudonymous founder, Chef Nomi. Yeah, yeah, if, if the founder is pseudonymous, you probably don't want to invest in the project. Chef Nomi, who took the former project an extra yard by adding rewards for providing liquidity to the exchange through a liquidity provider LP called Sushi that earns a portion of the AMM's value. In essence, AMMs provide the infrastructure to match lightly traded tokens with liquidity. A variant of other decentralized exchanges, DEX experiments, Uniswap has grown to be the largest AMM with volumes nearing those of centralized exchanges such as Coinbase Pro. The episode underscores the completely the complexity, creativity, and unpredictability, obviously unpredictable because it's unaudited, of the white-hot DeFi space where more than $8 billion worth of cryptocurrency is currently locked up in smart contracts, according to DeFi Press. But as Sushi investors discovered Saturday, putting money into an unaudited contract, which is incredibly dumb, controlled by an unknown founder, even dumber, was not a great idea after Chef Nomi unexpectedly sold his share of LP token Saturday. So the chef cashed out and he left you in the cold he or she left you in the cold it left you in the cold we'll just call it it at this point as reported by the block chef nomi swapped his sushi lp tokens for some 30 uh, 37,400 other worth about 13 million so he cashed out of 13 million he's like peace baby and he left in what bears strong resemblance to an exit scam which is exactly what it was the sushi token immediately fell 73% but now it's recovered a bit but since the chef is gone there is no one in the kitchen to cook and I just don't really like it. Long story short, adding a native token to an AMM was a good idea, or at the very least, one of the one that sparked digital bread and circuses. I don't really know why you even need a token, but because uh, Uniswap doesn't have one, but it looks like a money grubbing idea. Eleven day um, Chef Nomi launched Uniswap rival on August twenty eighth. Eleven days later, on September sixth, one point two seven billion is locked in sushi contracts. Remember, people locked over a billion dollars in unaudited and anonymous um, protocol. Like, what the hell, dude? That's equivalent to 77.4 of Uniswap's tradable assets, according to Sushi Board. Sushi Swap's transcendence to De DeFi Unicorn was made possible through an innovative leeching of its rival, Uniswap. Chef Nomi bootstrapped Sushi Swap by leaning on Uniswap's popularity within DeFi Circle. He's basically used it to make a lot of money and then pretty much exit scam. In a technique called zombie mining, SushiSwap gave extra LP tokens for users providing liquidity. This is all from Coindesk. I'm just adding my own uh, commentary to the uh, other Sushi pool on Uniswap. LP rewards, moreover, were 10 times higher than they would normally be, which is an excellent cover for people who want someone who wants to exit scam with a lot of money. Uh, run up a certain time. This That created a mad rush to learn L, earn LP tokens through farming Sushi on Uniswap as shown by an exponential rise in Uniswap volume last week. So the exponential rise on Uniswap uh, was probably like ca was caused by SushiSwap. And actually, SushiSwap exit scamming will, may actually really hurt the crypto market and may cause crypto to, far, um, to uh, fall some more because the Sushi guys is rotten. But then everything had changed when Chef Nomi attacked. The founder, who became a multi-millionaire by merely copying and pasting Uniswap's code. Exactly. Didn't do anything, just control C, control V. 
shortly became a, the center of a Twitter doxing campaign. His identity has yet to be confirmed. Uh, meanwhile, Chef Nomi, DeFi founders, and sushi investors became engaged in verbal sparring. Chef Nomi declared his intention to stick with the sushi protocol and that his sushi sell was well within his rights as a founder. Yes, it, that is true because if you own the coins, you can actually sell them at any time. There's no charter or anything, which is why people were dumb to invest in it in the first place. Others, such as FTX CEO and sushi investor Sam Bankman Fried, were not enthused about the decision. First of all, Chef Nomi sucks, he tweeted uh, September 5th. Well, yeah, come on, man. He exit scam with $13 million. What the hell did you expect him to do for an unaudited and anonymous contract? I mean, did you actually expect people to be trustworthy when you gave him so much money? Get real, dude. Yet, this clock, uh, yet the clock kept ticking on the planned migration from Uniswap to SushiSwap, which is not going to happen for the time being. And at this point, virtually no one trusted Chef Nomi to undertake the transfer in an honest fashion. Through push and pull, Chef Nomi decided to give up his keys to the SushiSwap contract. He and he alone helped. To boot, the contract to the 1.25 billion protocol was given to none other than Bankman Fried, who canceled the migration. I don't really know if you could, uh, well, I guess he's a little more trustworthy because you exa know exactly who he is. And uh, he's going to have a lot of people knocking on his door if he actually exits scams, which makes him much less likely. The entire exchange took place on Twitter Sunday with Chef Nomi lamenting his position. Again, I did not intend to do any harm besides exit scamming. I'm sorry if my decision did not follow what you expected. So uh, Bankman Free controls the sushi swap contract, so we have to trust fully in him now. In a Discord message, he said he said he plans to move the contract to multi signature con to a multi signature co contract until the project can be fully decentralized into the hands of sushi swap LP token holders, similarly to other DeFi protocols. So uh, basically, the original founder cashed out. Another exit scam. Maybe this guy can save it. Maybe not. We don't really know. So um, yeah. Don't trust unaudited and completely anonymous tokens and make sure your project actually has something to it besides a meme coin power that resembles a food. So that is the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.